right, everybody! Hold on! Oh, the seeds of the Pantheon! Fight for the fate of your world. End it all! No! After all we have endured, it must not end this way! Hope is not lost, High Father. The spark of life still flickers within these mortals. Arise, champions! Fight to save your world! It is time. We must gather our strength. Return home, children of Azeroth. Illidan, we've done all we can. Every choice, every sacrifice has led me to this moment. To face him. Once again, you are not coming with us. The hunter is nothing without the hunt. Did you not see this fate, Prophet? Fate? Our survival was never in fate's hands. Light be with you. Give it a story. Brother, your crusade is over! The moment that the way to Argus opened, the instant my gaze fell upon the Legion's homeworld, 
I knew I would not be returning from it. I will face my destiny, whatever it may hold. Yet, I have left certain matters unsettled. Old wounds that I would see mended. This crystal bears two messages. One is for my brother Malfurion, the other for Taranda. I am trusting you to deliver them on my behalf, champion. When they have heard my words, leave the crystal atop Mount Hygel, upon the shores of the Well of Eternity. You have witnessed echoes of my past, hero. I ask your help to put these final matters to rest. The soul of our world is in agony. The crystal. It rings out with a familiar voice. Malfurion, even in the womb we grappled with one another. Struggle has followed us all our lives. The teachings of Cenarius were always your path. I felt another calling. It was power I sought, but not to conquer or rule. It was a means to an end, to save Azeroth from an unstoppable foe. You never trusted my intentions, though I suppose I did not make it easy for you. But now, as my fate becomes clear, I wish to quiet the strife that has long divided us. Even when the Legion is gone, new threats will arise. There is no one I trust to face them, more than you, brother. You have spent a lifetime fighting for the dream of what Azeroth could be. Now you must fight for what it is. Take care of Taranda. Listen to her counsel. She was always the best of us. The road ahead will be long. Whatever comes, bring honor to the name Stormrage. My brother made selfish choices, caused pain to so many. His transgressions are difficult to forgive. And yet, there were times when we fought for a common cause, a shared purpose. Those were good days. But now is not the time to ponder personal regrets. We must see to healing the world, champion. In my lifetime, I have twice witnessed a sundering of the world. Mother Moon, I pray I do not see a third. I sense a sorcerer's touch upon this crystal. Doranda, long ago, you trusted me enough to defy Malfurion's wishes and free me from my prison. But over time, that faith was lost. And like my brother, you came to believe that the choices I made had driven me to darkness. Know that every path I took led toward a single purpose, saving our world. I could abide no half-measures, no compromise. At those times when I faced doubt, I held true to one constant, one anchor. You. You have always embodied the best of Azeroth to Ronda. Your faith, your devotion, through the darkest times, my belief in you never wavered. My fate, my duty, are now clear to me. I leave Azeroth's defense to you and to my brother. Take care of him, Tyrande. Though at times I wished your heart had made a different choice. In the end, I know it made the right one.
contrite words. Yet I must wonder whether he truly meant them. After Illidan faced defeat atop the Black Temple, I tried to let go of my feelings, my distrust and bitterness. When I learned that he was alive, leading the fight against the Legion on the Broken Shore, I could not bring myself to speak to him. The time for talk has passed. It seems he has a duty to fulfill. As do we. Let us be about it, champion. The well of eternity. I am not one for sentiment. But if anything embodies my commitment to Azeroth, it is the font of power I created so long ago. But enough dwelling on the past. The crystal I left for you to find holds not two messages, but three. The last is for you, champion. You have proven your commitment to Azeroth. Your dedication, your sacrifice, rivals my own. But more will be asked of you. So much more. Even now, enemies gather, and the shadows grow darker. From this day forward, the defense of our world, of all we hold dear, rests with you. Champion, the Dark Lady instructs you to meet me in Orgrimmar. Information has come to light crucial to the interests of the Horde. It is imperative we remain a step ahead of our rivals. Meet me outside Gromish Hold. Keep this quiet, or the consequences will be swift and severe. War Chief. If I may offer a few words. It is with both pain and pride that we gather here today. Pain for many brave heroes of the Horde fell against a terrible foe. And pride for against all odds, we have vanquished the Legion! We bled, now we heal. We mourned, now we celebrate for the Horde! For the Horde! War Chief, a moment of your time. No doubt Gallywix wants to push his latest money-grubbing scheme. Rats scurry about their business. And get eaten, if they're not careful. <laughs> Keep sending more goblins to Silithus. <laughs> Nothing good has ever come out of Silithus. This will change everything. <laughs> I told you! And the Alliance knows nothing of this. Don't worry, War Chief. I got people on it. Hmm. Gallywix has operations underway in Silithus. Get there at once. And if you see any Alliance skulking about, Make quick work of them. 
Like many of you, I know firsthand the pain of loss. My father, King Varian Rin, gave his life to save his people. He knew that no one, not even a king, is more important than the Alliance. And because he and so many others had the courage to make that sacrifice, we did the impossible. We defeated the Burning Legion. Spymaster Shaw, back so soon? But by living our lives, our joy, I need to speak with him. These are the gifts of the Fallen. Now. And we must cherish <sighs> and celebrate them. For the Alliance! observed an unusually large cluster of goblins in Silithus, and the numbers are increasing. Goblins aren't the most charming people, but they do things for a reason. And those reasons usually involve money. So, the Horde has found something valuable then. They have indeed. This. seen the Horde does, and we must find out more. Agreed. We have eyes on it. Without you, Azeroth will surely it seems our victory in Argus was a hollow one. With his final blow, Sargeras has done much more than bury his blade in the heart of our world. I had hoped that after the war against the Legion, the people of Azeroth would build a new future together. But now, the unity we forged has been shattered. As the life essence of Azeroth bleeds out, the leaders of the Alliance and Horde scramble to claim it as a resource. Blades are drawn, and the tides of war are rising once again. But I will not take up arms against heroes on either side. Not after all we've been through. Instead, I will go to Karazhan and confer with my old mentor, Mediv. Perhaps somewhere in his ancient texts lies the knowledge needed to heal this world. I had best be going. Until next we meet. Farewell, champion. Ours is a cycle of hatred. Champion. Tis good to see a familiar face in these dark times. Since returning from Argus, the cries of Azeroth have been overwhelming. Such pain. I don't know how to fix this. Not sure anyone does, but we've got to keep trying. The storm's gathering, hero. If we don't find a way to heal Azeroth, nothing else is gonna matter.